Hi everyone and welcome to another video on screening guidelines. Today's topics are palpable breast mass and breast discharge. Let's get started. This is how we approach and screen for palpable breast mass. If the woman is less than 30 or 30 years of age, we perform ultrasonography to see the characteristic of the breast mass. And eventually we can perform mammography, which here I have abbreviated as MG. Now, if the woman is more than 30 years of age or if she is pregnant and you find a palpable breast mass, now this mass becomes more suspicious. Perform an ultrasound and if you find solid mass, you're going to perform biopsy to see if it's cancerous or not. But if the, on ultrasound you see that this is a cyst, you have to give the cyst one to two menstrual cycles to see if it's gonna resorb on its own because this can be a completely normal finding. But if after one to two menstrual cycles you do another ultrasound and you find the cyst still there, then you have to perform fine needle aspiration. Now based on what you find on fine needle aspiration, you have to proceed the following way. If the aspirate is bloody, it's most probably cancer. Do mammography and excise the lesion. If you find residual mass, then again mammography, excise it. If you find pus, of course it's an abscess, right? So you have to either drain it or excise it. But if you find fluid and the cyst is benign and simple, you have to again give this cyst with fluid four to six weeks to see if it's gonna resorb on its own. But if it doesn't and on ultrasound you find the same cyst still there, you have to perform mammography and excise it because most probably it's a malignant cyst. Moving on to breast discharge. If you find breast discharge in a woman at any age, which is described as unilateral or bilateral, non-bloody and being any other color than red, including gray or green or yellow, or milky, then it's probably a benign lesion, most commonly caused by hyperprolactinemia, uh, caused by pituitary adenoma, dopamine use, etc. You have to perform here ultrasound and eventually mammography. But if you find a breast discharge described as unilateral, spontaneous, persistent, bloody or serous or blood tinged, then you have to start suspecting a malignant lesion in that woman. So now what you have to do is core biopsy to check if you can find uh, ductal carcinoma inside or invasive cancer which you have to treat with uh, the appropriate surgery. But if the core biopsy is undecisive, you have to perform a terminal duct excision. At the end of this video, I would like to give you some bonus information on breast skin changes. If you find breast skin changes in a woman who is 30 or less than 30 years of age and she's complaining of tenderness and redness in the breast area, uh, she's having fever and chills, uh, I want you to think about mastitis. Most commonly it's mastitis when the patient presents like this. And how do we treat mastitis? Most commonly with clindamycin perols to cover anaerobic microorganisms. Now if you find breast skin changes in a woman who is more than 30 years of age and especially if the changes are bilateral, I want you to do mammography. If the mammography is normal, then you have to perform skin biopsy. But if it's abnormal, you have to perform needle biopsy. This concludes today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck with your studies and see you on the next video.